I grew up surrounded by the architecture and the history steeped in industrial textile heritage. And it didn't take me until maybe going to university or until I was maybe 22 to make the connections that when people talked about East India and they talked about Manchester's cotton heritage, that it was relating to my cultural heritage in Bangladesh. And that was one of the biggest eye-opening moments for me, a kind of watershed moment where I was making connections between 19th century um, textile mills and the history of Bangladesh and East India. I've spent my career trying to make those connections with the peoples whose history that relates to, underpinning perhaps British textile history as a global textile history narrative. Back in 2019, Festival of Making and the British Textile Biennial were embarking on a co-commission to work with a textile artist um, to join the two sites of Queen Street Mill Textile Museum and a contemporary manufacturer, John Spencer Textiles, both based in Burnley. The beauty of this commission, uh, which I'm so privileged to have worked between these two sites, was one steeped in history, um, one of the original um, weaving sheds that still stands today with these looms behind me. There are 300 looms here, only a third of what would have been its full capacity and is the only surviving steam-powered weaving shed in, in the world with John Spencer Textiles, Ian Mankin, um, a contemporary textile manufacturer that has changed um, its apparatus and its um, mode of manufacturing to include high-end, high-tech manufacturing methods and techniques and equipment um, to be at the forefront of its industry. And to bring these two sites together with my uh, research and my commission work was an absolute joy to create these connections that were spanning through time and history and place, but very much rooted in the textile um, heritage and industrial heritage of Lancashire. So for the British Textile Biennial, I responded to this amazing, incredible historical site um, by creating an installation and performance using the equipment and the loom weights. Um, I'm very interested in the, the manufacture of the, the apparatus and, and the, the steel and the looms and the weights. And I love to build looms in my performances um, and I take threads and I use them to build kind of contraptions to comment on the idea of weaving and labour and the histories connected to this site. Um, so I used one of the drawing in machines. It was incredible to use this um, um, antique technology that people describe as non-functional anymore, but it's so steeped in history. And I created this loom, creating um, using cotton and linen um, um, woven through the machine to create an, an installation. And I used um, textile waste material from John Spencer Textiles, um, of which they have reams and reams and reams of selvages to create this spilling out installation which filled one of the um, rooms with this cotton textile waste and was woven into this loom that I built and this was in response to my experience of being in this space and having learned and read about this um, this history these narratives it was a real joy to kind of connect those spaces together especially one of a historic site and one of contemporary design and manufacture and my journey into the work that I'm making for British Textile Biennial has to sort of absorb and take these histories that are interrelated and connected to each other to create a, my own unique design language that references these diasporas and these legacies of migration and globalization and trade that have been ongoing for many, many, many years. These histories and these locations and these cultures creating a woven design language and these are gonna be textile archives in themselves.